All right, kids, it is time for the sermon in a box. And so I'm going to invite all the kids who are willing to come and join me here up front. Maybe it's just Junia this morning, and that's all right, Junia, it's me and you, that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that, but let's see what Junia has put in our box, and let's see if we can learn something about God or His Word. Wow, that's a, this is a great sermon in the box. We have a shoe in the box this morning. Um, Junia, are these, is this your shoe? Is that yours? Can you wear that? That looks a little bit big for you. So I'm guessing this is maybe your dad's shoe. Is this your dad's shoe? All right. Well, let's see. Are there shoes in the Bible? There are. The Bible does talk about shoes. And the Bible talks about feet a lot, actually, more than you would think. And so let's see. Which example do we want to use? You know what? Let's talk about Moses this morning. You remember Moses? He was out in the middle of nowhere, and he's walking along. He's, he was actually leading some sheep, and he looks over, and he sees a bush, and the bush is on fire. Just not, that's not strange. I some, that movie. but the, Yeah, I bet you did watch that movie, but the crazy thing about this bush is though it was on fire, it didn't burn up. It just kept burning, and then God spoke to Moses out of that burning bush, and he called Moses into his holy presence, and do you remember what he told to Moses? He said, take off your shoes because the ground on which you are standing is holy ground. He's saying, Moses, in order for you to come into my presence, to be with me, something has to change. You have to leave behind your shoes. You have to leave behind the dirt from over there so that you can come into my presence. And you know what? This morning when we worship, we come into the holy presence of God. And in order to do that, something has to change. And we don't take off our shoes, but you know what's happened? We can come into the holy presence of God because when Jesus died on the cross, he took away our sins like Moses took off his shoes. And because Jesus has taken away our sins, we can come into the holy presence of God and we can know him as a loving father. Wow, what a great sermon in the box. Do it again next week. All right, Junior, I'll send that home with you.